gotta get up to spiritual maturity Cannot linger, no stick figure, that is my priority Gotta listen to the ones with the high authority It's the fivefold, yeah, the fivefold to get me where I need to be Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in and welcome to another year of the Teach Me to Obey radio broadcast. I am your host, Anita Punchi Lewis. Firstly, I want to take the time to express sincere thanks to all those who attended the one year celebration that we had last week's Sunday. It was really, it was a blast. It we had fun and it was just awesome. So I want to say thank you to all those who attended. Thank you for joining us in the celebration. We really had a, I, I don't want to say good time. We had a fantastic, mm, fabulous time as we celebrated the Teach Me to Obey radio broadcast. It's one year anniversary. Now, for the past year on this broadcast, we spoke about the fivefold governmental leadership team. According to Ephesians 4, 11 to 16, one of the purposes of the, the fivefold ministers is to bring believers to spiritual maturity. We would have spoken about that and said that the other purpose is to um, equip them for their work of the ministry. Spiritual growth and maturity is always is not always um, focused on in the religious circles. However, according to scripture, this is necessary and should be, you know, the focus point for every believer. So commencing today, we are going to be teaching on spiritual growth and maturity in greater detail, of course, with the outcome for, you know, with helping believers to to pursue spiritual growth and maturity and to become more knowledgeable about it. You know, we, again, we're here to really make you knowledgeable about scriptures and what the Bible has to say to each believer. We want to be more knowledgeable about it. You know, the scripture says people perish for lack of knowledge. No, we don't want you to perish. So we're giving you the knowledge that is necessary. So this, this, this course, this teaching, Spiritual Growth and Maturity, I sat under it for approximately seven months when it was first done. And honestly, it has shifted my paradigm. I would have shared with you all that I attended Bible school for, for three years. However, I was not exposed to this teaching on spiritual growth and maturity I probably would have read the scriptures, but merely glossed over them, had no understanding of them, didn't focus on them. Nothing like that. But um, as I said, this was introduced to me some months ago, and it has just really brought an awesome transformation in my life. Again, just being able to grow because of this. And, you know, when, you, when you're exposed to certain things, again, truth. The scripture tells us that we shall know the truth and it shall bring freedom and I was exposed to truth and it brought so much freedom because then I was able to be knowledgeable about where it is that I'm heading to. The fact that I'm supposed to grow, we would have spoken so many times over the year and even as recent as the past few months concerning the fact that every believer should grow. We spoke about the stages and all of that. So... Starting today, we are going to be speaking on spiritual growth and maturity. Okay, so, I mean, believers, just, you know, put on your seatbelt, as we would say, because you're in for a, a new ride here. Okay, new ride. Teaching that will literally transform your life. I have with me here in the studio the individual who wrote the books and who taught me on the spiritual growth and maturity teaching, you know, it, it was a course, it is a course. And uh, I have her with me in the studio. She wrote the book on um, spiritual growth stages and spiritual maturity. So she's here and she is going to share with us. She's going to share with you, our listening audience, and you are going to be transformed. Kingdom Academy founder and director, Kingdom Academy's teacher, 
the one who is behind the scenes, hard at work, writing, teaching, my goodness, every single thing you can think about. Yeah, ensuring that we as believers, those who are in Kingdom Academy and beyond, that we become all who we are predestined to be, who God himself has predestined us to be as believers in the earth. To some, she is teacher, trainer, equipper, spiritual mother, my goodness, a mentor, mm, so many things, so many hats that she wears, right? Um, it is my honor, it is my privilege to introduce to you Mrs. Natalie Allen. I'm giving a big round of applause here. Okay, this is the student audience here. Yep, yep, yep. We are grateful indeed that Jehovah God has sent her to this nation. He sent a monstration man, um, Tony Allen, to Barbados, and they got married, and he escorted her back here and brought her to the shores of Montserrat, and she came here, and God used her to usher in a new breed remnant into, you know, new dimensions into the things of Jehovah God. Believers, as I said, get your notebooks. You know, don't, don't take this teaching for granted. Get your notebooks, get your pen, because you are here to learn. Mrs. Natalie Allen, welcome to the Teach Me to Obey radio broadcast. Well, let me first of all say thank you so very much for inviting me. It is my pleasure to be here with you today and to actually share on a topic that I am so very passionate about so thank you so very very much you are very welcome um what should i say teacher natalie director natalie <laughs> you know so many so many titles again okay i mean i you would have listened to myself adina Kristen, chrissy over the past few months and um to be honest, we could not have, 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 we would not be able to do with this teaching what the writer, what the one who received this, this information, this revelation, we could not bring it the way that she got it. So, of course, she's the best person to literally share it with you. So, that is why she's here. So, Natalie, um, take it away. We are speaking about the spiritual growth and maturity of believers. Take it away. Thank you so very much. Well, we are going to start with the spiritual ages. Um, we have a lot to unpack in this teaching, but we are going to go. Um, I don't usually, I don't really want to say um, line upon line and precept upon precept because in the real context, that is something else. So I'm going to say we are going to be laying blocks, right? Yes. We are going to be laying them brick by brick and layer by layer. When teaching is systematic, it is more easily grasped, understood, and can be more readily applied. So our how we are going to um, introduce actually this teaching is that we are going to start with the spiritual ages. We are going to unpack a few scriptures today and we are going to lay a solid foundation as we look to maneuver through each spiritual age and the dynamics there as we go up to reach eventually spiritual maturity. Okay. So we're going to start with the spiritual ages. Are you ready? Yes, I am. This, is, I, this is going to be a refresher's course for you. You know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's going to be a refresher's course for you. And you know, the Holy Spirit, you can't visit something in the Bible once and for all. Mm -hmm. Each and every time you visit with the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. you are going to get fresh revelation. Oh, yes. You are going to hear something else. It is never exhausted. I, I mean, I can speak My about God. that from experience because how many times would we have gone through a scripture and every time we go back, it's new revelation is further. You know, revelation is progressive. So it's, again, more understanding. That's so, it. Yeah, I'm prepared. That's I'm it. All right. <laughs> so the spiritual ages, let's go. Our Heavenly Father, um, He has great plans for us as His children and included in those plans for the born-again believers is to actually reach full spiritual maturity. Okay. It wasn't or it isn't God's will for us to just come to save in faith or for us to just, you know, accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, and then that's it. It is now the beginning of a process called spiritual growth. 
So with the spiritual ages, it is important that we, first of all, we are knowledgeable of those spiritual ages, and then we have an understanding. It is like having a map so that we know where to navigate. We know mm -hmm. where exactly to go. We have a roadmap that we can actually follow. I want to start, I want to paint a backdrop first to connect the dots basically for us and for this radio broadcast. You would have been here uh, 12 months, my gosh. Yes. And you would have been speaking uh, from Ephesians 4, 11, mm -hmm. especially 12, 13, sometimes reading right down to verse 16. 16. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's look at Ephesians 4, reading from 11 to 13. So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God. Here's the, 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 the top liner mm -hmm. today. <laughs> and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. I'm going to read that portion again. Until we become mature, mm -hmm. attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. I have to read it one more time. Until we become what? Mature. mature attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. Mm -hmm. However, the Bible makes it crystal clear in various places that there are different ages and stages of spiritual growth and development that a born-again believer has to go through in order to reach to that very place of full spiritual maturity. Mm -hmm. And we are going to be identifying those different ages and stages today. Now, we're going to start here. In the natural, when a child is born, we call that child a baby mm -hmm. who later grows and becomes a child. Mm -hmm. Then the child grows and becomes a, a teen. teenager mm -hmm. and finally reaches to a stage where he or she is now referred to as an adult. adult. Mm -hmm. Well, the same thing <laughs> occurs in the spiritual. As we say here so many times, as it is in the natural, so it is in the spiritual. <laughs> I'm not going to even uh, place my comments right there on that one. So we are going to see these different ages as we look at the scriptures today. Okay. Now, let me ask you one question. Um, did you, were you aware that there were four different ages that can be identified in the scriptures? Prior to this teaching, no, I was not aware whatsoever. I just thought, okay, you're a Christian, done the story. I didn't know about any stages, ages, nothing. I didn't know about the spiritual babe. I didn't know anything. All I know, I, um, you're a Christian, and that's it. Well, for me, because um, you would have, uh, over the years, I would have met a couple of scriptures. So I would have been aware uh, that you definitely start as a spiritual babe because mm -hmm. I was familiar with the scripture as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word so that you can grow thereby, you know. So I was familiar with the babe stage. And then I would have heard scriptures uh, referring to spiritual maturity. Mm -hmm. However, to know about four distinct ages, um, no. I, I did not know that early on um, in my Christian um, growth and development. No, I didn't know that. So let's start at the spiritual babe. The spiritual babe is obviously the starting age for everyone who has experienced true genuine spiritual rebirth. Mm -hmm. But that, be that as it may, mm -hmm. when we are spiritually born again into the kingdom of God, we do not automatically not become spiritually mature. No. We have to start our spiritual journey first as babes in Christ, no matter how old we are physically. So mm -hmm. if someone, for example, was 70 years old mm -hmm. and they just got born again, and, and they enter the kingdom, they would start off as a spiritual baby, babe. Respective to the age. Exactly. Okay. Now let's look at 1 Corinthians 3 and verse 1. It says, Brothers and sisters, when I was with you, I found it impossible to speak to you as those who are spiritually mature people. 
for you are still dominated by the mindset of the flesh. This is because you are immature babes in Christ. So here in 1 Corinthians 3 and 1, mm -hmm. we are seeing where there's reference made to being an immature, immature babe. babe in Christ. Mm -hmm. Here the Apostle Paul was speaking to the believers at Corinth, mm -hmm. letting them know that when he was with them, it was not possible for him to address them as mature believers mm -hmm. because their mindsets were still more carnal than spiritual. Mm -hmm. This was so because they were simply immature, immature believers. And you know what? Their conduct mm -hmm. revealed their spiritual age. Right. It is clear then here that the scripture reveals that believers can be at a spiritual baby stage. Mm -hmm. And moreover, this spiritual age can be determined by their behavior, behavior. Mm -hmm. the way they live their lives, the particular conduct. The language, even, yeah, the, all of the that. language. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can go on. Yes, the dress, <laughs> everything, right? <laughs> so this is the first age of the spiritual growth process, the spiritual babe. And the thing is that we are only going to be focusing on the ages Age. mm -hmm. today, and mm -hmm. then we are going to build on that. So we want to be able to identify four specific spiritual ages. Now we are going over to the spiritual, spiritual child. child. The spiritual child is the second age in the spiritual developmental stage. The spiritual child is the second age in the spiritual developmental stage. I hope you're taking notes. Please have your pen. Take notes. We're going on. We're on the spiritual child now. We just did the spiritual baby. We're on the spiritual child. Take your notes. Continue. <laughs> The spiritual age is the second level of the spiritual growth process, which follows the spiritual babe level. To have been promoted by Jehovah God to this spiritual age, it would have meant that the born-again believer would have mastered, you know, mm -hmm. the first level of spiritual growth and is now ready for the next spiritual age, which is the spiritual mm -hmm. childhood age. So they passed the test. They have passed their test. Yes. They are no more dabbling with a lot of things that you would dabble with at the baby stage. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we are going to get into those things later. in later mm -hmm. sessions, yes? But right now, we just want to identify these four spiritual ages. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at 1 John 2, 13. Now, this is the power verse right here mm -hmm. that shapes it all, you know, that structures it all for us. So 1 John 2, 13, part C. Okay, so it's divided into parts. This is part C. Mm -hmm. Says, I have written to you children, those who are still relatively new believers, those spiritually immature. I have written to you children, those who are still relatively new believers, those spiritually immature. In this particular portion of the verse, the Apostle John had pinpointed and addressed specifically the spiritual children who were among the group of believers. He had written also to the spiritual children, those who were still relatively new to the faith and still very much spiritually immature. On a whole, this verse shows that believers are at different spiritual ages. And this section, part C, mm -hmm. highlights particularly the spiritual child. Here, the believer is no longer at the age of a spiritual babe, but still has not reached the age of a spiritual teen as yet. Okay. And there is much evidence in the Bible throughout the scriptures, which indicates that there is a spiritual childhood age and what goes along with being at this developmental stage. Okay. So over to the spiritual teens. Yes. So we are identifying these ages. So we just saw in 1 John 2, 13, C, mm -hmm. that it made reference to the Apostle John, I am writing to you children, mm -hmm. the spiritual child. Now let's look at the spiritual teen. The spiritual teen is the third age in the spiritual developmental stage of a born-again believer. 
This spiritual age is the third level of the spiritual growth process, which follows the spiritual child mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. At this age, the spiritual teen is now ready to access a brand new spiritual experience. First John 2, 13, now part B. B. Part mm -hmm. B now. We are dividing this thing. We're unpacking it, you know. Yes. We are unpacking this. Part B says, I am writing to you young men. Some virgins have, I'm writing to you young people. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because, you know, men, but in the Bible, they're going to use the masculine, but it refers to so, both yes, masculine, masculine and, and feminine. feminine. And so, I am writing to you young men. I'm writing to you Young people, mm -hmm. those believers who are growing unto spiritual maturity because you have been victorious and have overcome the evil one. In 1 John 2, 13, part B, the apostle here is writing his letter addressed specifically to who? Young, young men or young, young people. people. In mm -hmm. other words, spiritual, spiritual teens. teens. Spiritual teens. He is specific. The spiritual teens are born-again believers who are no longer spiritual babes. Mm -hmm. They're no longer spiritual children, mm -hmm. but they are still not spiritual adults either. As, as the scripture says, they are growing onto spiritual exactly. maturity. Okay. Exactly. So there is a place just before spiritual. full spiritual maturity, okay. and it is in the spiritual that way, just as it is in the natural for us. Yes. We become teens before we become adults. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the benchmarks of the spiritual teen is that they have been victorious in overcoming many of the evil schemes of the enemy. Mm -hmm. At this age, the believer is a bit more solid in the word, not easily tossed to and fro, mm -hmm. not easily deceived. They are now strong in their faith with some roots firmly embedded to keep them solid. So they're, growing. they're growing. So they're growing. They're, growing. they're not fickle anymore. No. Then we have things. the fourth spiritual age, mm -hmm. that of being the spiritual adult. So spiritual adulthood is the last age in the spiritual developmental stages of the born-again believer. And it is an age that every believer should aspire to reach. It should not be that believers plateau at the baby stage, at the spiritual childhood stage, or even worse, at the almost grown stage of a spiritual teen. Spiritual growth and maturity should be pursued with persistence. Spiritual maturity is not a sudden occurrence, neither does it transpire overnight, not mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. It does not automatically take place when a born-again believer reaches a particular biological age in the natural, nor does it depend on one's longevity of being a believer after having been regenerated by the Spirit of God. Okay. Those who would have reached spiritual maturity grew up into that place after a duration of time, doing what was necessary in the sight of Jehovah God. Um, they would have gone through, you can just imagine, right? Mm -hmm. They would have gone through much to have become a disciplined follower of King Jesus. Oh, yes. They would have faced various trials. They would have been tested. They would again. have been proven <laughs> by their radical obedience to reach to that exalted place. Mm -hmm. First, this is our last scripture. Mm -hmm. First, John 2.13, no part A. Mm. We started off at part C, C. we went to part <laughs> B, and, and now A. we have arrived at part A. At the last one. <laughs> <laughs> and it says, listen to what the Apostle John has to say. It says, I am writing to you fathers. Mm -hmm. Okay, other translations have, I'm writing to you parents. Yes. Those believers who are spiritually, spiritually mature, mature because you know him who has existed from the beginning. I am writing to you fathers or I'm writing to you parents. It is speaking about those believers who are spiritually mature. So as we would have identified mm -hmm. four spiritual ages mm -hmm. now now this is the the, the, the power packed scripture verse right here first john 2, 2 
13. Again, First John 2, 13. That has the spiritual ages. Yeah, it speaks about spiritual parents, mm -hmm. our fathers. It speaks about spiritual. being at the spiritual childhood mm -hmm. stage. It speaks about the spiritual teen, teen. stage. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wow, where was that verse in the Bible all along? I read that and glossed over <laughs> it. In action. My God, my God, my God. Like so many others, we just didn't see it. Thank the Holy Spirit for illumination. Thank yes. him for revelation. You know, that he opens up the scriptures. Mm -hmm. And you saw this apostle, the apostle John, specifically writing. And I always ask this question. Mm -hmm. Do, would you, if you had to write a letter or you have to give instructions, mm -hmm. would you give the same instructions to a two-year-old that you're going to give to a 20-year-old. Absolutely not. My God, <laughs> this is so powerful. So we cannot be lumping, you know, believers all together I'm and giving the them the same, same thing, mm -hmm. giving them the same instructions, giving them the same messages. Same we see go. the Apostle John here literally breaking it down. Say, listen, I've written to you, mm -hmm. spiritually mature. Mm -hmm. I've written to you, spiritual you teens. Yes. who are on your way. I've written to you children who you still spiritually immature. You ain't fine mm -hmm. your footing yet. No, no, You're no. still easily tossed to, to and go. fro by every wind of doctrine. You're still a child. Okay? You're <laughs> still a child. And then we see so many other scriptures in mm -hmm. the Bible mm -hmm. that addresses now spiritual babyhood. Yes. Spiritually immature. Do you, do you think mm -hmm. it's clear? Yes, it is. Do, I, do you I, think it's clear? Listeners, is it clear for you? Is do it do clear? you think it's clear? <laughs> I think it is. Four spiritual ages mm -hmm. to go through, and that's where we want to lay the foundation yes. um, on today. So over to you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Are, are, are you taking your notes? No, let us go through them. Let me see if you, you, you are listening. <laughs> We're talking about the spiritual ages, and we spoke about what first? The spiritual babe stage, mm -hmm. spiritual um, childhood stage, yes. the spiritual teen stage, yes. and the spiritual adult stage. The yes. four ages of the of the um in the spiritual for for every believer, the spiritual ages. Yes. These are the different stages. We have a spiritual map, so we know where it is that we are going as believers. I mean, this is our first lesson, first you know, teaching on the spiritual ages, my goodness. And again, nobody's supposed to be stagnant. Mm -mm. Growth is supposed to be taking place. Nobody of wants course. to have a baby and you have a baby and six months after, 12 months after, my Lord. a year, two more years, you're still a baby? No, something wrong, something mm -mm. wrong. So again, we are onto spiritual growth. Yes. So we are learning and we've had our first lesson and my goodness, I mean, I'm writing here. Eh? I'm writing here. I'm in the students and I'm writing here. Okay. So I hope that you at home are writing. I, I can imagine a, a particular lady, a specific lady <laughs> who would have her book and her pen out writing. Yeah. Very good. And thanks to all those for listening. I mean, teacher Natalie, thank you so very much for coming my pleasure, today. My and, pleasure. You know, laying the groundwork yeah. in our first lesson and we look forward to next week's lesson again as we continue on the spiritual growth any last words that you want to share with the listening audience this afternoon yeah just you know um have everything founded on the word of god that's yes. the most important thing and as you take note you know take note that this is recorded in first john okay. 2 13 you can actually read from first john 2 verses 12 right through to verses 14. So 12, 13, and 14. And let that sink in. Like, yeah, there are different ages and the apostle being an apostle is just a wise master builder, right? So mm -hmm. he knows how to build lives, mm -hmm. he or she. So the thing is that the apostle John knew exactly how to deal with these spiritual ages and, and what he was supposed to write. My God, Yay, I'm excited. Woohoo, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. And uh, thank you for tuning in and joining us again on another Teach Me to Obey radio broadcast with me, your host, Anita Punchy Lewis. And we had today with us um, Natalie Allen, the founder and director of Kingdom Academy, who is literally going to take us through this course on spiritual growth and maturity. Do Enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh, yeah. Mature, yeah. Mature.
Gotta grow up, gotta get up to spiritual maturity Cannot linger, no stick figure, that is my priority Gotta listen to the ones with the high authority It's the fivefold, yeah, the fivefold to get me where I need to be